everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Deborah, also known as Doobage42, and it's time for Tuesday Reviews, hence the cute little kitty bag of doom. However, today's review involves something that will not fit in the kitty bag. So off it goes. Uh, today's review is on something a little bit unusual. Pool noodles. I know, right? I don't get into a pool very often. I tend to burn when I get out in the sun. I get crispy. But these guys are actually useful for other things, which is why I bought them. I went to Dollar General, three bucks a piece. I got two of them like this. They have some smaller ones that are narrower that are a buck a piece. But see, I have a particular problem that these are going to solve for me. Something called floppy boot syndrome. I know, it's something you may suffer with as well. Let me demonstrate. You ever have a pair of boots that when you take them off and put them away, you want to treat them with tender, loving care? Look at this guy. It's a tall black boot. Tall and beautiful, right? And then it flops. Oh, no. What's a shoe lover to do? Look at this. That's just awful. Well, the pool noodles can help. I've been reading about this, and I've seen it on the Internet, and I've seen it all over the place for years. One of the easiest fixes ever. Whack up your pool noodles, especially if you're not all about getting noodly in the pool. I'm just saying. Let me show you. First, you'll need a pool noodle. Yes. Then you will need, well, in my case, a kitchen knife. Ha! I'm kidding. Which is just a kitchen knife. <laughs> then you need to cut the pool noodle. Now, you need to figure out about how long you need it to be. That's where the boot comes in handy. I don't know if my ceiling is high enough to show this on camera. Basically, mine needs to be about this long. If you're a little longer or a little shorter, it's not going to make a big difference. Safety first, kids. Get a grown-up or a grown-up who's actually good at adulting to help you with this. tripod. Anyway, it cuts that easily. Then you take the now sectioned off piece of pool noodle with or without the label, you know, your choice. I'm not fancy, the label's staying on. And you stick it down into the shaft of your boot. Voila! Look at this! No more floppy boot syndrome. My ailment has been cured by a pool noodle. I've got a bunch of these to cut because I have several pair of boots just laid over on my bed that have been just going oh, droopy and floppy over the past several months because I haven't had a way to make them stand up pretty. They also store better and you can set them in the closet and they can look really nice next to each other because you know what, especially any girls who like shoes like I do, you've got a bunch. You gotta make them look nice when you walk into your closet. Um, I plan on cutting up my pool noodles and sticking them in all of my boots. Then maybe I'll find another use for the pool noodles. I think I bought a little bit too much a pool noodle for what I need. But anyway, pool noodles are pretty freaking awesome. They can help you float in a pool. It takes more than one to help me float because I'm a big old girl that sinks like a rock when I get in the pool. Uh, you can cut them up to cure floppy boot syndrome. You can also use them as sort of bumpers uh, around sharp things. You can cut in the edge of them. Let me show you. See, they're hollow. You can cut them on one side, spread it apart, and put it around something that's a sharp edge, like a table. If you have a toddler that's running into everything that you're afraid they're gonna split their little head open on your fancy coffee table, put one of these around it. They might still bump into it, but it doesn't really hurt. Also, another good use for a pool noodle, fake sword fights. You can whack the crap out of somebody with this and not actually hurt them. It's kind of therapeutic. Ask me how I know this. I, <laughs> but yes, I walk around and do this. You can also scare the cats with them. Uh, yes, the cats are very scared by a sound coming out of the other end of a weird pink tube. Da -da -da. The cats tend to run. Notice, no kitties up here with me today. That is a sad Deborah. 
Anyway, get pool noodles while you can and get them cheaply. If you have a Dollar General, get those because even at Walmart, they're five and six bucks. I am too much of a bargain hunter for that. You should be too. It's fun to bargain hunt. Anyway, catch me for some more reviews of makeup, food, stuff, or anything else. Uh, they come out every Tuesday here on my channel. I'm Deborah, Dubage42, and I'll see you soon.